What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be checking out this bumper for enclosed trailer ramp doors. So you can see right here, our old one, I took it off. It was only a chunk of it left, so we have to replace it. So that's what this part's going to do. It's going to sit up here. So when you bring this ramp door down, the bumpers will hit the ground and you're not just slamming the ramp against the ground. Let's check it out. Jumping right to it, we're going to replace this. We use the existing hardware. It doesn't come with any hardware, so I got a washer and a bolt to put in there. We're just gonna put it right back in that same spot and start to tighten it down. I'll come back with my ratchet and socket and continue to tighten it down. Taking a closer look at the bumper, it's gonna be two and a half inches in diameter it's also going to have a 3 8 inch of a hole there in the center so that way you can pick out the right hardware. Like I said, we got a bolt and a washer in there just to hold it in. It's going to be an industrial strength rubber so it's really going to be able to take that impact when you drop that door. It's not going to like just destroy or crack on the first couple drops. It'll last a long time and the elements shouldn't bother too much but this, these have been on this trailer for a very long time so you can definitely see that the other ones are a little worn down. I should probably go ahead and replace all of them too. Another nice thing is it's going to stick up an inch when you add that pad to the ramp. So when you lower it, the ramp's just not going to slam on the ground, which means it's not going to smash your hands. There's still room in here because of that bumper for my fingers not to get smashed. Now they're not just for the back ramp either. You can use them on your side doors. You can see we have one here and one at the top. So when we open this door all the way, it doesn't make contact with the trailer. It stops before it does that. You don't have to just use it on the back ramp either. You can use it on the side of your trailer. So we have one down here. One up there, and that's just for when we open this barn door. If it was to swing all the way open and slam against the trailer, it wouldn't just hit the trailer. It would hit those bumpers first. So overall, very handy to have this on your ramp or the side of your trailer. I like that you can do this, like I said, to protect your hands when you're dropping the ramp, protect the ramp when you're dropping the ramp, or even the trailer when you're opening that side door. That's a nice bumper in there to keep from damaging itself. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out, and I hope this helped. 